Ooh, spooky. Kind of cool, too. So anyway, um, I was using my lightsaber chopsticks, and they started strobing on this kind of peach color that they... I didn't have them on the peach color. I had one on magenta, I guess, and the other one on uh, blue. So anyway, that's a sign, I think, that the battery's going. So you might want to know how to... Uh, change the battery on these things because these things are pretty cool. They're not like super expensive, but I don't want to buy a new pair every time I, you know, the battery goes up. So if you look at these, they're four-sided, see a square, and um, the side that has like the, act, what, you know, the graphic for the activation sh switch, see the other sides are like, that's just plain, that's plain, that's plain. This one has the activation switch. If you look closely at the top, you can see there's a little gap here. So you, you can put your thumbnail in there and kind of push. You get like an eyeglass um, screwdriver and get in there and twist. And then maybe you can get a bigger one in there and twist. But um, that slides off like that. Right? Super, super simple. Be gentle with it because it's plastic. And you can see there are three batteries, three watch batteries in here, these three little button batteries. So we're going to take those out. I have to admit, this is the first time I've ever uh, changed them because I've had them for a while. <laughs> so do them on a table. Ah, I caught that one. Try and get off the edge of the table, aren't you? LR41 is what I'm seeing here. See if my macro lens will focus on that. Come on. You're an iPhone. You're supposed to be able to do this. LR41. So that's the size of the battery that you need to replace the switch. You need three of them. And they go in like this. The flat part with the writing on it goes towards the spring. And the part that's like the cylinder like got the little circle on it that goes towards the positive connection on the top so you stack them one at a time and that can be tricky too especially at the spring but if you kind of look at it like it's a pez dispenser and on this one it looks like i might be able to put my fingernail on here and actually pull the spring down a little bit maybe not so you might actually need a screwdriver for this operation too to kind of like see what I'm doing there. And then you may actually need an extra set of hands would be uh, make this easier operation. But there you go. Ah, oh, spring came out. There, I was able to force the spring back in. But now they're off all together. And then to replace it, I don't think you go from the very bottom. You're just going to like slide it in from about there. See? There? Nope. Maybe from about here? Ah, okay. From about here. And then slide it shut that way. All right. So I got to get, obviously, some LR, LR41s. I don't have those laying around. So, um this uh, video helps you uh, smash like and uh, yeah if you have these tell me I love these I love taking these out to dinner and making videos with them and they're a lot of fun kind of like pocket sized lightsabers too bad they don't make noise I really wish they did that would be so cool but I guess I could like put some uh, sound effects on my phone and play it while uh, maybe play the Imperial March while I'm eating my sushi at the restaurant that'd be pretty cool all right guys have a great day smash like for me that helps me and um subscribe that helps me even more and it's free have a great day